Wellness with Paul Rosen. Our diets, our Western diets in America are just really, you just don't realize how poor they really are. What would you say to others who would like to feel better? Sometimes you need to find the instructions. That's where the testing and everything comes in because without that knowledge, there's no way I could have got to the point where I'm at today. Straight talk about health. And then I start preaching and telling them what I've been doing. (laughs) And this guy named Paul Rosen has changed my life. With your host, Paul Rosen. By the way, the information contained in this program is not approved by the FDA nor intended to treat, diagnose, or claim to cure any medical condition or disease as defined by Western medicine. However, skilled practitioners of many disciplines have found nutrition response testing to be a highly reliable, supportive technology for assessing the health and fitness of the body's functional system. Paul, you've heard of Beyonce, have you? She's a performer of some renown. Well, Beyonce, along with some other celebrities, are big advocates of alkaline water. They say drinking alkaline water will lower the pH levels in your body and make you healthier. What do you think of that? I think as, um, you know, most everything is oversimplified in that respect. And so I, uh, you know, when a person who isn't responsible... This is no knock on Beyonce, of course. We love Beyonce, love her music, et cetera, et cetera. But when a, when a person who is not responsible for another's health, you know, and I'm talking about a person comes to me and they're suffering and I make uh, a representation that I can help them, right? And then I help them. Unless you're doing that, it's really important to refrain from making general recommendations. So you think maybe that has some basis in reality, but it could be overblown quite a bit? I think, I think it is overblown quite a bit. At least that's my experience in the clinic. And I've been doing this for 27, going on 27 years. So, but the idea there is that alkaline water will lower the pH levels in your body, and the lower your pH level, the lower the acid content in your body. Is that correct? Actually, it's the other way around. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, alkaline, al- al- alkalinity is raising the pH level. It's exactly the opposite. In other words, the n- neutral pH is 7.0. Anything technically below that is considered acid or acidic, and anything above that is considered alkaline. And the theory in a nutshell is that alkaline or ionized water is a powerful antioxidant. And, of course, for those people who have looked at this a little bit, Uh, a powerful antioxidant has surplus uh, electrons that can mop up, as it were, the dangerous free radicals that you've got coursing through your veins. Marketers claim alkaline water can correct excess acidity in your tissues, which can then prevent or reverse cancer, arthritis, and other degenerative diseases. So that's what they're talking about when it comes to acid and alkaline water. Research, however, throws a little, well, water on that theory, pun intended, (laughs) um, reveals a somewhat different observation. Acid-loving cancer cells, for example, have been successfully destroyed with acidic agents. They've They've also been destroyed with alkaline Agents. Well, is that counterintuitive then? It is. If you're eliminating the acid in your body, are you eliminating something which can have benefits for you? It is. It is counterintuitive. So things are not quite as simple as marketers of ionizers would have you believe. So let's take a look uh, 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 into this world a little bit of alkaline and acidity. As a clinician, me, who has helped really tons of folks, who prefer to use safe, natural, and effective methods of healing to get well. The only thing that counts is results. Results is all that matters, consistent results. And restoring pH balance, if it's necessary, this is really important, is most effective when done with the help of a professional. Why? Because we, as individuals, don't have access to the tools, and truly the understanding 
to be able to do it on our own. Now, if you got an extra four grand out there and you want to go buy yourself an ionizer, right? Um, fine, be my guest. But I can tell you, just as many people get into trouble as talk about how exciting their situation is. And furthermore, the real question is, how do you know? Let's let's make the assumption that you buy one of these things and you start using it. Chances are you've changed more than the pH of your water. What I mean by that is chances are you're watching your diet now. You've probably cut sugar out of your life, finally, once and for all. And you're probably eating more vegetables than you ever have in the past. And in other words, you've made a number of lifestyle changes. Maybe you've added some exercise to it and so forth. Plus, you're doing the uh, alkaline water. The question is, is that is that intervention, adding the alkaline water, something you would be doing every day of the week for the rest of your life? How would you know when enough is enough? How would you know when to stop? Well, you wouldn't. And I think anybody who bought into that, who thought that alkaline water was a good thing for them, would figure, naturally, if a little is good, more would be better. Here's one of the downsides. One of the downsides is is that your stomach, uh, within which the water will ultimately get to, has to be the most acidic place in your body in order for there to be proper digestion, separation of minerals from the foods that you're eating. And if you cause the alkalinity in your stomach to, uh, to rise, or the acidity, rather, uh, to uh, be altered to too greater degree, you're basically going to destroy your digestive function. And so, you'll know you've been doing that if you're experiencing acid reflux or feeling of an acid stomach. Again, counterintuitive, Right. Well, right. Because if you're, if you're drinking alkaline water, which is supposed to put out the fire, as it were, metaphorically, right? And you're actually experiencing the fire, the cuckoo clock goes off. The cuckoo clock, the goes, cuckoo off. clock goes off. The perfect cuckoo, analogy cuckoo, right there. Cuckoo. So what, what we're trying to say here, or let me summarize, Paul, and make sure I have it clear in my mind, sure. is you do want a minimum acidic level in your body, especially in your stomach, because it's just part of your normal body process. Is that right? Correct. So if you're doing things maybe to take away from that, you're doing yourself more harm than good. Potentially. Not only that, because if you're not absorbing, if you're not um, uh, preparing your minerals in the proper way, uh, then you're going to adversely impact your immune system, which is what this is supposedly all about. So what do you right? mean by preparing your minerals? Well, that's, the stomach. That's what your stomach does. Yeah. Okay, so you're shutting down. Yeah. By shutting down the acidic content, you may shut down the normal processes of your stomach. Digestion. And then, and then have these other issues. Exactly right. And as a side note, most individuals who experience acid reflux do so not because there's too much acid in their gut, but because there's too little. Now, remember, folks, I'm couching this in my experience of close to 27 years in the clinic. This is how I help people get well, because there's so much myths and disinformation and oversimplification, which can get some folks into real trouble. And, you know, I I don't know about you, but I don't got a ton of $4,000, you know, just rolling around in a drawer, which is what some of these ionizers cost. And I'm going to explain how you can do it for much less expensive and not get involved in micromanaging your body's function because micromanaging your body's function um, is is basically um, a problem because it's almost always unsuccessful. We have no ability to micromanage our body's functions. It's... It's all on their own, baby. So what do you do? You have to micromanage, in effect? You're making your entire system healthy and therefore making these smaller systems healthy. I'm going to, I'm going to share the, the, the steps that you take, but it's really more about lifestyle, right? And less about adding some specific, thera- you know, what, is other, what, what may be, uh, you know, a faux therapeutic um, uh, 
strategy, like providing alkaline water. Again, as I said earlier, to understand alkalinity, acidity, you have to know a little bit about what pH is, small p, capital H, pH. That's the way acidity and alkalinity is measured in the scientific community. So a pH of 7.0 is considered neutral. Anything below that, smaller number, is acidic. Anything greater than that, a larger number, is alkaline. Now, what's the best way to measure either of these things in the body? Blood and saliva tests are the most accurate reflection of your pH level. In general, a study was done some years back, and it revealed that two-thirds of the population is not balanced with respect to pH. Two-thirds? Two-thirds. Why, why is it so out of whack like that? Why do so many of us have this improper balance? Well, we were just talking about that, right? I mean, how much attention did you pay to yourself, uh, you know, with respect to what you ate when you were 20? Well, not a lot. Right. Not when a, you were 40. When you were 40. Well, but I also think that even if you're a relatively conscientious eater, you're watching your diet, maybe this particular factor isn't something you're keeping an eye on. No, you have to be intentional. You have to know what you're doing. You have to you have to actually put some attention on it. There's no such thing as, um, I mean, I've never met the person who is in the middle somewhere. So let me go way you out. Either, you're either paying attention or you're not paying attention. That's the way it is. I mean, I don't... <laughs> Let me go way out on a limb here and say that there are particular things you can do with your diet to help maintain a proper pH level. You're, right? you're, you're stepping ahead, but that's a hint. And I'm also going to step further ahead and say that there are probably particular things based on your individual needs you can do Correct. to help maintain that which balance. Is, which, and now you're getting into that micromanaging aspects. How the heck can you micromanage? I mean, how would you know? how much acidity or how much alkalinity the body might need. Remember, this is literally an intervention. If you are intentionally consuming an acidic or an alkaline water, you are, you are taking a, a, a considerable, almost radical step to intervene based on what? Based on a theory. Well, that's Based interesting on, to me that you call it radical, because to me it almost seems like a placebo, that you're just drinking this stuff and saying, well, this will help me oh, keep no. my proper balance. Oh, no. Balance. It's, no, it has nothing to do with placebo. Believe me. And what do you actually, when we're talking about alkaline and acidity, how does that translate into the body more than just acid or alkaline condition? Well, it speaks to the calcium-phosphorus balance. Everybody knows how important calcium is. Maybe you don't know how important phosphorus is. Not at all. But both of them are very important. So why why is phosphorus important? That's not something I I normally think of as being even part of our systems. Because the normal, the normal, um, uh, uh, I should say it, I I, want to do this in a a clear fashion. So the, the, the automatic regulating mechanism requires an acidifier when things are too alkaline and an, 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 an alkalifi- alkalifier, I don't even know if that's a word, when things are too acidic. Okay, that makes sense to me, actually. So calcium is the um, uh, alkalifier. I know that's a horrible, I don't even think that's a no, word. No, I think I'm following what you're saying. And phosphorus is the acidifier. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And they, they run around the body generally in a ratio of four to one. Now, Roslyn, who had a history of fibromyalgia and arthritis, um, had also kind of got sucked up into this theory of, uh, uh, you know, ionized waters. Uh, Well, best to hear it from her, part one. Roslyn, start off with some of the things that you were suffering from before you came to see me. Well, I have a a, a list about a mile long <laughs> the that, I, that I had, but the most significant was the, um, for years I've been, had been, um, suffering with, with increasing discomfort from arthritis and fibromyalgia. And this, as anyone who's, who's over that, that 30 year old hump knows that just only gets worse with time. Um, and, and I had been, um, I, familiar with NRT, and I'd been referred to you. NRT meaning nutrition response testing. 
Right. Right. And um, I'd been referred to you as, as a very good practitioner in the area and um, came to see you and found that, indeed, you are a very good practitioner. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, dear. I appreciate that. But, you know, it does take a, does take a team. So, so your, your willingness to, uh, to actually follow your nutritional healing program is certainly a huge factor in the success, don't you think? Well, well it's been the... the of course, there are, are nutritional supplements, whole food supplements that you've given me to um, help my body heal. But um, most significantly, has been a change in diet, and it's it's really hard to not enjoy some of the the foods that um, you know to that that a lot of people eat without thinking about them. But when I when I weigh the you know having this really nice chocolate mocha you know, cappuccino milkshake and then having to hobble around on, on you know, with pain all over my body. <laughs> Not so much of a choice. <laughs> yes. Well, I certainly agree with you. And, you know, um, maybe they're, they're you know, I, I don't know if you if you remember, I don't know how long you've been listening to the show at all, but... Um, but uh, we, I, I, I did uh, speak of, of, you know, one patient who absolutely could not make that connection and, and was not willing to give up their honey bunches of oats in order to, uh, you know, take control of their health. And, you know, there are those folks out there, but hopefully there are more folks like, well, like you. Well, there's, there's been a, a side benefit, too, that in, in having to make a lot of changes to my diet, and I'm, I'm somebody who I, I really enjoy cooking and I really enjoy eating and I'm not willing to live on you know, um, just nothing. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I, that's so, totally true, and you shouldn't. So what happened? And so, well, what I've, what I've done over um, the years is, is really done a lot of research with, with food, whole food, fresh food, and I make a point of buying the best quality and the most variety of food that I can eat and finding really good and nutritious ways to prepare it. And I would say that we eat better in my house than most of the people I know. We have, we we rarely have the same meal, you know, twice in two weeks. We have a huge variety of food. It's always delicious. The bottom line is, what result health wise? Oh, I can. You know, I have. If if I if there's ever a time where I go off my diet or my the restrictions for any reason, I'm. I have so much pain. I'm I'm really just flattened. You know, I can't can't get out of bed. I can barely move. I have headaches. But, um, you know, so with the right diet and with avoiding the things that I need to avoid, I have no symptoms. Um, and you know, I'm I'm almost. 60 years old, and I do not have any symptoms of arthritis or fibromyalgia or wow. any of the, the bone problems. All of my, you know, cholesterol and, and bone density and all those tests come back completely um, in range, and I don't feel like someone who's almost 60 years old. How, how, how important is it to know, or was it to you to get the specific... Uh, nutritional information that was provided by the evaluation. I mean, how important? Well, it's it's amazing. You can, you know, a lot of people stay away from certain kinds of foods because they generically know that they're not good foods. But those aren't necessarily the foods that aren't good for them. I do know people who can eat a little bit of sugar once in a while. It doesn't bother them at all. When I eat sugar, it it affects me for weeks at a time. Right. And um, things like grains. Some people do fine with whole grains and... and I haven't and seen... I haven't found many, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. I mean, basically, the specific information is so critical to success. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you don't know exactly what your specific nutritional needs or barriers to healing are, then it's just right. trouble city. Absolutely. I mean, eggs eggs are a terrific food, and they're and they're very healthy, especially if they're good eggs. But I can't eat them. But not for you, right? At least at this stage, right? And and we're 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 working on we're working on changing that. There is one point, and we we're we're running out of time. Um, but I but I wanted to get to one point because there's this sort of thing going on where people are spending a lot of money on alkalizing their water, 
and was, and 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 didn't you were doing really really well until there was this event that happened. What was it? Well, there was. Um, and you got to make it quick, though. You got to make it quick because we're running out of time. Well, a couple of months ago, some friends of mine were um, telling me that uh, it's an alkaline water that's supposed to alkalinize your system and cure a whole host of ills. And all of the literature on it sounded very impressive. And um, and I started drinking it, and I, I really experienced a lot of discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, in other words, by the time to make it short, by the time you got to me, I had to figure out what the heck was going on because things were going backwards. Right. And and so this is another indication and, mm-hmm. and you know, another indication that specific individualized uh you know needs are are critical to getting the right result if you're going to use nutrition. So this whole idea that there is one approach for everybody really falls flat in its face, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. So with you, when you started to drink this alkaline water, you started to get all of your, your, your digestive symptoms back, and, and you started to experience some, some of that arthritis or the fibromyalgia, right? Well, I found out that I need a more acid environment. Exactly. Exactly. And that's so important, is that there is a way to figure it out, right? Yeah. So what, so what would you say to anybody out there who, who wanted to, to uh, you know, Supercharge nutritional healing. <laughs> I'd say find out exactly what you need on your body and stop eating sugar. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Stop eating sugar, but find find their find your specific your your specific needs. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Get an evaluation. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So back to the alkaline water. She actually had problems with it. Yeah, and this is how this is how we get sucked into fads. Right. Because we have a concern. Or maybe we're already on medication and we'd like to get off, which is my specialty, by the way, helping people get off of their medications. And, you know, so you're looking. You're looking. And, and, and you, you, you know, you, you, you've, you go out there and you, and you read a story and it, it intrigues you and you try that. And then you try this and you try that. And then you take this supplement and that vitamin and this herb and alkaline water and everything else. Right. Well, there's a way to short, shorten that um, uh, search. It's why I do the radio show. It's why I do public talks. It's why I've done all of this for close to 27 years. Because I, too, was in uh, uh, deep trouble, even though I was already a trained practitioner. Let me add, too, Paul, that it's not just shortening that search for better health or for methods to address a specific health issue. You're also targeting. You're getting to specific things. For example, if you're drinking alkaline water thinking, this will help my pH levels, you don't know that. Exactly as right. We, as we've learned, it may actually do you harm in some way. And in Rosalind's case, that's exactly what happened. See, she said beforehand, right, in part one, how much better she was. She's not experiencing any arthritis. She's got no fibromyalgia. Uh, her, her, her digestive issues are um, uh, resolved or resolving. And then all of a sudden, it started to go haywire. So here's my point. Rather than throwing things against the wall, you have a way of making things much more specific, not only for the particular condition, but for whatever that particular individual's needs are. Exactly. And that's so that's step one. I mean, the solution then step one, find your unique um, uh, requirements. Your nutritional deficiencies are important to know. Your um, uh, barriers to healing or environmental impingements, they're one and the same. How do you know what the environment is doing to your body? You can't figure it out on your own. I couldn't figure it out on my own. My life was saved because I was willing to accept the um, uh, uh, Dr. Freddie Ulan's approach, which is now my approach, and that is find the uniquenesses of each individual and address them. The other thing is, of course, eliminate sugar from your diet, right? Any added concentrated sweetener, just eliminate it at least for a while. Um, and then you want to eat fresh food, right? For most of you who, who are concerned about acid, alkaline, you know, cut out the, the, the wheat, the corn, the soy. And then, of course, uh, you know, whole, whole fresh foods, vegetables, really important. High-quality meats, uh, uh, pasture-raised, 
um, raw dairy, as best as you can get it. Plenty of raw cheese out there. And you don't have to worry about alkalizing or acidifying. You just don't. 